all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as see the hot uh in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop uh you go be the first whoa collector my make you go down to the news proper the matter uh we'll be saying i ain't carry us enter here for you it don't share uh, the indigenous people of Biafra said we are ready to negotiate with uh negotiate exit from nigeria with the united nations supervision <laughs> uh meanwhile make we go down to that information in full details uh make you see as they go uh happy sunday is the last day i'll be the first day of the week uh let's go down the indigenous people of biafra said it is ready to negotiate with the federal government over a peaceful separation of biafra from nigeria the ipov is asking for a united nations supervised referendum to extricate biafra from nigeria in my powerful ipov spokesperson announced the development in a statement on saturday powerful said the agitation for a biafra nation under ipov began in 2012 without violence or criminality he said ipov has lost over 5,000 members and up and property worth over one billion dollar as assault of the as a result of the extreme use of force by Nigeria's security agencies. He said, We, the global family of the movement of IPOB, wish to reiterate once again that IPOB remains peaceful and open for negotiation and dialogue on peaceful exit of Biafra from Nigeria through a UN supervised referendum. The statement reads IPOB's peaceful agitation for Nigeria independence started in 2012. Never has IPOB been associated with violence or criminality in all our years of rallies and protests. Nevertheless, federal government through its security forces has levied war against the IPOB. Our members have been brutally attacked while on peaceful protests by Nigeria's security forces at many locations in Biafra land. As a result of these unwarranted attacks, Many IPOB members have been murdered in cold blood. Some have been permanently handicapped. Some forcefully taken away by the security forces, whereas some are still illegally detained in various detention facilities across Nigeria. Many IPOB members and sympathizers have had their houses and businesses burnt by Nigerian security forces. IPOB has lost over 5,000 members with property worth over $1 billion as a result of the extreme use of force from the Nigerian security forces. Irrespective of all the provocations, the indigenous people of Biafra has never retaliated nor have taken up arms against the Nigerian state. Powerful added that the indigenous people of Biafra has always advocated for peace for a peaceful separation to dialogue. He said that the indigenous people of Biafra stand for peace, that we stand for dialogue, and we stand for discussion. The cardinal rule under which the IPOV was formed is to lead the way to a peaceful separation of Biafra from Nigeria, the statement reads. Biafra and Nigeria are two different nations. The event from 1948 to 2003 2023 have shown that it is practically impossible for Biafra and Nigeria to coexist as one nation. IPOB has been calling on Nigerian state for discussion on a peaceful referendum date, but the Nigerian state always returned the peaceful call with violence su suppression. We said we have always maintained that self determination is our inalienable inalienable right according to united nation laws my people when i don't see uh, as it happened this one is um coming from uh, mazi 
am a powerful the spokesperson uh, or the media public secretary to the indigenous people of Biafra, according to him. Uh, he said that now uh, that um, the IPOB, that they are ready uh, to negotiate with the federal government, they are negotiate, they are ready uh, to negotiate with the United Nations and they are ready for a United Nations uh, supervised uh, referendum. Uh, of course, you know that um, normally uh, self-determination is very, very legal. And um, when one starts, uh, you know, uh, determining or start fighting for self-determination or self-freedom, uh, I don't think that uh, people just wake up one day and say, okay, uh, we want to be free. Uh, because um, it is because maybe where you are is not good for you. Uh, the person, uh, maybe they put you under. is not taking good care of you. Or maybe there is injustice. There is, there is no uh, 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 equity and justice. And these are the things uh, that cause people to say, okay, now, since this thing is like this, is it not better for me to be on my own? As if I can find peace on my own, I think it's better uh, for me to go and be on my own. And this has been, you know, one of the problems that is uh, ravaging uh, many nations today. Even the Catalonians are fighting and they want to move away from Spain and the rest of them. So uh, it's, this fight is not only uh, the Biafrans, even the Ambazonians, they are also fighting. They actually want to, to be free. And um, this thing happens when a particular um, group of people feel marginalized by the by the other top top officials. Now, when these people feel marginalized, you see you see what is called agitation. And the Nigerian government has failed to address the issues uh, that are concerning this particular agitation. Uh, even uh, now that um. The Bear France are agitating. Simon Eba is there talking, everybody is talking, say, releasing Nam the Cano, releasing Nam the Cano. And even upon that, they know that since Nam the Cano has been held in the DSS detention, that there has been katakata chaos in, uh, in, 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 in Biafra land, in the southeastern part of Nigeria. And the government themselves have not even paid attention to that. Now, if you ask me, I want to ask you, ever since uh, this protest began, protest of Seth Mazen and the kind of free, how many times have you seen the, the executive, the Senate, discuss on this matter? Except maybe uh, when the Southeastern governors, when they are happy, when they feel they are happy, maybe after drinking liquor and they feel that they are happy today, uh, they will now say, okay, let's just talk about um, this and the kind of, let's see what will happen. And you see them happily that day because they have taken on war. They have taken on war. Taken Pami, eh, with his star and stout and the rest of them. Eh, they, were, they are happy. They will remember him. They will say, yes, 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 let's release this man. Immediately that on war come out for their eye. Eh, you go no say, I'm going to drink. Oh, that's why, you know, they could say, um, especially when you drink, eh, make you no go the promised woman or something. <laughs> Because if you drink day high, uh, by that time you don't day on a higher tempo, and you can't see woman. Man, my kwano bro kwano, why you will get big nash? Come find my brother. Uh, you are in trouble uh, because because number one you are tipsy, and because you want to do something, climb on top of that tree. Uh, you be promising her that you will buy her a car. Uh, you tell her, did you did she see that car that passed by now? She will say yes. You tell her, don't worry, I will, I'm working on that car, I'm going to buy it for you. You'll be given all manner of promise. All these things, no be because say you go buy a more, but not because say you get something where they hungry you, and also you they high on something, you they high on alcohol. That's why you know they good, uh, make you they happy for merriment. On that merriment, make you go to give people promise. Uh, because if you give promise, then how one man they on merriment? Uh, look one boy, tell and say, from today, I will train you from this secondary school to your university level and make sure you get master's and get PhD. All abuse on me. Uh, nobody knew that now, okay, now, okay, now, okay, now, okay, now, okay. Uh, it's not that the man was not okay. 
Yeah, financially he's okay, but when his eyes cleared, uh, he find out that um those things are not part of the things that are in his agenda, and um someone who is set or like what I go. Meanwhile, I make a one down the curtain here, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first to collect. And thank you for listening. God bless you.